Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and we're here with episode number 82 of our Pokemon X playthrough here on the channel. In the last episode, we actually had quite a bit of a showdown on, I forget what route it is, but it's the, it's the Sligu route, the Gumi route, the Gudra route, where there's this huge bridge spanning across whatever, this big chasm ravine thing, and we were almost at the next town, but... A few of our friends decided to sideswipe us. We met up with uh, Shauna, Trevor, and Tierno, and we actually battled each and every one of them, which was pretty cool. We haven't seen uh, Tierno and Trevor, I think, in battle in quite a little while. So I just took a quick flight back here to Dendamil Town, as you're seeing, because we have to fix up Seaward's moveset. I'm doing the wrong thing. We gotta go talk to Mr. Man Guy, which we can easily do in just a moment if I can get away from you. There we go. Uh, so it turns out, although we did pick up the HM for Waterfall in the last episode from Shauna, she gave that to us, we don't yet have the badge needed to use it outside of battle. Which I figured, because we already tried Waterfall on our Swampert from way back in the day. So we're going to get rid of Surf and Waterfall for now. We have Scald and Grass Knot, which was part of Seaward's moveset initially. So we're going to bring those back. We do have the TMs for each of them. All right, Seaward, we don't need no waterfall. You're more specially offensive. We're gonna go. Remember back in the day when all water moves were based off the special stat? That was Gen 3 and earlier, and things like Swamper, Alligator, you know, they didn't make as good of use of water moves as they could have back then. But now that some water moves have become physical, thanks to Gen 4's split between the two typings, the two, uh, I guess you call it more attributings, uh, things have gotten a lot better for a lot of Pokemon. All right, where's our Grass Knot? We gotta use it, we gotta teach it, we gotta go. And I also have X-Scissor TM. Okay, I wasn't sure if we did, but now I know for sure I can replace his X-Scissor if need be. Okay, we need to find that Scald attack. There we go. As I said last episode, nearly as powerful as Surf, but definitely more effective. Same type of attack bonus, possible causing a burn. Who would ever run Surf when you have Scald? You're losing 10 points of power, but... Does it really make that big of a difference? I don't know. Anyway, let's do a... Uh, wait a minute. We gotta switch you out. You have leveled up. That's looking better. Okay, so first, I guess leading the pack right now turns out to be Scales our Salamence at level 54. An impish-natured Pokemon with Intimidate, holding Sharp Beak to power up Fly, with also Zen Headbutt, Crunch, and Strength. Next is Axel our Roserade at level 54. Uh, calm natured Pokemon with Poison Point for the ability, holding that Black Sludge to recover HPs. He's got Venoshock, Giga Drain, Stun Spore, and Worry Seed. Next is our Cantonian Beedrill Stinger at level 54, a hasty Pokemon with the Swarm ability, holding Smoke Ball to run away from everything we see. He's got Cut, U-Turn, Toxic Spikes, and Endure. Side note, does Smoke Ball let you escape Shadow Tag? I would doubt it but it would be nice. Next is Erwin, our Crookedile at level 55, a brave Moxie ability Pokemon with Dread Plate to power Crunch up. Also has Earthquake, which is awesome. Low Sweep and Aerial Ace. Here we have Seaward. I'm going to do a little bit of a move rearranging since we just replaced certain attacks. Uh, I want Grass Knot up higher. There we go. So, Seaward, our Duwat at level 55. He is a Rash Pokemon with Torrent ability, holding Mystic Water to power up the brand new replaced Scald Attack and Aqua Jet, but also Grass Knot X Scissor. Last but not least is Caliburn, our Aegis Slash at level 55. He is a Brave Pokemon. Stance Change ability, of course, changing form in battle. He's holding the Iron Plate to power up. Iron Head also has Shadow Sneak, Sacred Sword, and King Shield. All right, now that we are back and ready to roll, do I need to heal? I noticed somebody was missing a PP. We might as well do a quick little heal. Why are we injured? What did we do? Didn't we just, didn't we just end off the last episode after that battle? I don't even know. Okay, we're gonna go heal up. We're gonna head back to that bridge route. We're gonna, what are we even gonna do? Well, I think we're gonna go to the next town. I believe you don't immediately get to battle the gym, however, which is good because I want to make sure I'm going into a gym battle fresh near the start of the episode so I know in advance when we have a YouTube premiere coming up. That is the whole point of these badges and stuff. It's going to feel funny uh, having a YouTube premiere after the big showdown of episode 72 because although there is still... One more badge to get, and the Elite Four and the Champion are still a thing of the Pokemon League. They just don't feel as big as the Legendary of the game. I don't know if 
I like that. Uh, I find... So, I was actually talking to my niece about this, too. It's like, she, she played Pokemon back in the day, but she hasn't played it for many past generations. But she remembers things like, you know, you go through, like, the game, you're getting your badges. Your whole task is to get the badges and become the champion. And that's all well and good. Where do I go from here? Here? <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh... The fact was, you know, Mewtwo, the legendary Pokemon, the, the, the myth, the... What would you call it? Le legend, I guess. You get that as sort of a bonus after you win the main story, the main game. So, she found it confusing and, and a little bit weird that... There's a hidden item up here. I know it. Wait. Wait. There's not. Why would they lie to me? Empty patch of nothing. And so, I told her how ever since Gen 3... I shouldn't say that. Gen 3, 4, and 6, you definitely get the legendary before you get to the end of the game. Which doesn't seem like it's... It, it makes your journey seem less important, you know? Because now you have the legendary, the world is saved, and you continue doing what you're doing. But Gen 5, as much as I say Gen 5 is my least favorite generation, black and white, they did it really good in the sense that after you've gotten through the Elite Four, that's when the Legendary Showdown happens. And that feels more epic climactic. So I will put a feather in the pocket of Gen 5 and say you did well on that one, folks. The move Misty Terrain can cut damage from Dragon-type moves in half, but it only protects Pokemon if they're touching the ground. Maybe I was completely mistaken when I assumed it protects against all status conditions. Or maybe I was correct and they just didn't say it. <clears throat> We're going to get attacked by these two, aren't we? No. But why are they exact duplicate twin copies? Anyone else get a hankering for some double mint gum? I don't know why, but I only really remember the battles I lose. Don't! <laughs> you gotta turn every frustrating defeat into motivation and grow stronger. Do! Exactly! Like, I've said, I think many times, one of the things that we would do at our Pokemon League here in town, I would try to... And, you know, encourage the thought that during a match, of course, Pokemon TCG uh, match, you have a winner, you have a loser. Occasionally you have like a tie, but whatever. Winner and loser, the not only should the loser take that loss as, okay, I saw where I messed up, I need to improve, but the winner should also be a good sport in winning by saying, here, what you could have done here is this, this, this. Educate, help build your opponents up because... That, although that might put them above you and now you're on the losing end, that still gives you that higher plateau to reach. And we're all going to be increasing where we go. And we all improve in that sense, you know? Mutual beneficial losses. I, I don't know. That's just my random thought. Kids need to spend more time playing outdoors. It's not good to be indoors all the time. I'm heading out later. I gotta do Pokemon going. Don't tell me what to do. My Bergmite was given to me by my grandma when I was born. It hasn't melted yet. Of course not. Pokemon, even though they might have natural Snowbell City uh, attributes of what we equate to, it's like, say, Bergmite, ice type. You might think of it as actual ice. And I could just be uh, making stuff up that I don't really know about, but I don't think that they would just naturally melt in the ice, you know? I'm thinking how... Okay, let's talk about Charizard. They talk about how like, if a Charizard's tail fire, or I guess it's, technically they say Charmander, but if a Charmander's tail fire ever goes out, that it's it's supposed to die. So, but we've seen in the anime, Charizard, you know, in the Charisific Valley, fell in water, the tail didn't go out. So, what, what I, I've said before, I'm just repeating so many things here. My interpretation of that, that concept of Charizard will die if its tail goes out, I think... My way of seeing that, or reading that, is as long as the Charizard's tail is lit and flaming, it cannot die. So the only way that it could die is if the flame was snuffed out. But as we see, natural causes of falling in water, even getting hit by water gun and stuff, <clears throat> I guess that doesn't really mean that the fire can be put out, because it's not, it's not a natural fire, it's a Pokemon fire. It's got special quality, special attributes. I just saw Mr. O-bonding. Alright, we'll get another power. 
So anyway, that's the way I interpret that Pokedex description. And you could say, yeah, but Professor, remember when, what was his face? Damien, I think, left his Charmander sitting on a rock and it was using a leaf to keep its tail lit, but the flame was still going out. Maybe it was just getting sick, you know, and that sickness was causing its tail fire to diminish regardless. The rain could have just been a weird coincidence. You think? Anyway, have you heard of the Gracidia flower? Yes, that turns Shaman into Skyform Shaman. It's been a long-standing tradition in the Sinnoh region to, to give bouquets of them to people as a way of expressing one's appreciation. Could I have a couple? I would like to welcome a Shaman to the team. Sup, I'm all about the ice types, you know? They're super chill for real. Then again, I can see why some people get fired up for the fire types. They're pretty hot. Dude don't know what he wants in life. You gotta set a goal and go for it. Don't get lost down the Pokemon path. Round and round in a loop it goes. Oh, I remember what that's refer uh, referring to. Don't get lost on the Pokemon path. The big tree marks the way. Does it though, really? One man, through it all, lives ever on. To, want, to a Pokemon once lost, he's ever drawn. One man, through it all, lives ever on. Searching for his heart, long lost and gone. I'll give you a tip. Uh, come up with better lyrics. No, we'll give some monies. We got... Why do we get this much money? Take a thousand. I feel bad for the people earlier in the game who I didn't tip a lot to. And defaulted to no by mistake. That's not my intention. I, that cafe dude, he's still spitting in my coffee to this day, I'm sure. It pleases me to know that you were pleased by my song, sir. Alright, what do you got for me? Hey, new power. Let's do it. Alright, do you want to know? No. Nope. Dude, why do you keep asking? We got pre-restored -pre power. See, that could come in handy on a number of occasions, but I'm still not using the old powers of Mr. Bonding. Because he just flies out through the roof. And I can't trust the man. Someone as shifty shady as that, do you really know what's in their mind? In their heart, soul? Anything. I don't think you do. Alright, now this town is big-ish. The best part of Pokemon battles is that there are so many options, so many different tactics to try. Some people may try to end a battle quickly with a brute force offense, while others may prefer to go defensive and play the long game. It's called Toxic uh, Shuckle. With Reflect, Defenses, Rollout, uh, I don't even know. I've never really used a Shuckle in a competitive sense. Woo Woon. I wonder if Shuckle could have been used in that festive feud years and years back. It was red. Pokemon don't freeze in harsh sunlight. Did I actually know that? I don't know if I knew that. Come here, you. What's up? <coughs> Rough. Good enough. I didn't think you'd have too much to tell. Why did I get stuck behind a bookcase? Actually, what's in this bookcase? Look at this. Oh, I can't even read. Oops. All right, then. I can't even see where people are. Standing here reminds me of a cold region far away. <coughs> Excuse me. Standing here in this specific spot? Would you listen to the first song I composed there? I guess. Okay, now is this going to be, what is it, Snow Point City? I believe this is Snow Point City's music. If you like it, I'll be ever so pleased. Sure. This is a nice reminiscence of the past. <clears throat> Only two generations ago, but... It's still the past. The piano is sure nice, isn't it? Thank you very much. Do you have any uh, drum symbols that I can accompany you on? Who out there? Comments. Drop one. Who out there knows how to play an instrument? Me? No. Well, I never studied one in particular. Although music is... like The best I have is my desktop. Because drums. I don't know if you can even hear that. But basically... I've never really played an instrument and studied it. In Back in elementary school, we had a school band, and I played the flute for that. And I guess I learned it? I don't know, I can't remember, but I think I did. And I guess technically that was one instrument I learned. Now, if you ask me to play a flute today, you ain't gonna get nothing out of me except... So I'd have to actually restudy. But instruments are... Very cool. Let me know if you actually play one down in the comments. For generations, my family's duty has been to teach moves to Pokemon that people call mythical. I can teach a move to Keldeo or Meloetta. Good luck finding anyone that has those. Lysandre. He's my old friend. You must fall as well. He was trying to help people in need. Becoming convinced of people's stupidity and facing his own limitations led him to conclude that the world could not be saved, which led to his suffering. <coughs> it's ironic. And somewhat Yoda-ish. Pain leads to suffering. You, try! 
this. We got bulk up. Pretty useful TM. Attack and defense going up by one stage apiece. Bulk up. Bulks up. The body to raise attack stat and defense. Thank you. I just explained that and didn't need point form notes. I didn't... I don't have it, but the thick... Okay, I'm not actually overweight myself, but the thick fat ability weakens, weakens the power of fire and ice type moves. I told you I don't have it. It's funny how wall rain can get that, given the fact that it's super resistant to ice to begin with. It can have thick fat to become super duper super resistant to it. That's a lot of resistance. You and your Pokemon look like you've been through a lot together. You know, I've got a kid who's right around the same age as you. She just set off from Vanneville Town on the jour a journey of her own recently. I bet she's looking all grown up now. What? Hang on. Where are we from? Are we from Vanneville Town? I don't even know where we live. So who... Who is this? Isn't... Wait a minute. Hang on here. I'm so confused. So, he's got a kid around the same age as me, so it could be one of our friends. She just set off recently on her own. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, Okay, and another question. If if your kid is from Vanneville Town, why are you here in Snowbell City? You are way far removed from your family, sir. I don't know if I approve of this. What is this? What is that? What am I looking at? Is that nothing? That's nothing. I can't see nothing on this screen. Can your Pokemon use Mat Block? No, nah, he's knocked out. He's injured. Like five times over. It doesn't matter whether I go somewhere or not. Because as long as I have as long as I'm with Pokemon, I can have fun wherever I am. That's the way to be. Hmm. I'm confused as well, Meryl. Why did I come in here? This served no purpose. No offense, you got a nice home there. It looks exactly like the other ones in town, but still. Uh, okay, I thought this was leaving me out of town. I'm like, I'm not ready for that yet. Let's see what this house layout looks like. Exactly the same? Whoa, kids, 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 kids. We have the same personality. Get back here. <laughs> Running through this house like, no, no, you, no. Cut you off. We're, we're well known for using synchronoids. Or synchronized, probably. Okay, so... What do we say about running indoors, kids? You do it in a pair. There you go. Alright, what do you say, ma'am? You having fun with your kids? Let's trade my Bisharp for a Jiggly... Puff. Jiggy. I could trade Jiggy. Look. Right to the box. I could get a Bisharp. But he's injured. We can't trade injured Pokemon. So, yeah, we'll keep Jiggy. Nice try, though. Oh, well. If the time is right, let's trade. No, thank you. Jiggy's been with us since Gen 1 Kanto. We can't give him up, of course. When Pokemon get frozen, they can't do anything. But it's hard to freeze a Pokemon. Yeah, there's never been a dedicated attack that just causes a freeze. Um, What if they're... Well, ac no, he's actually lying. There are certain fire moves that if you are encased in ice and you use it, you... you Thaw yourself out. Uh, flame Wheel, I believe. I think as as weak as it is, Ember can do it. Flare Blitz, I think, can also bust through the ice. So there's a number of ways you can get through. Hail Traveler. Huh, hail. What sights have you seen with your Pokemon? Everyone. Every single sight. Uh, this does take me out of town, I'm sure. Because look, weird how just this one town is covered in snow, but it stops at the edges of the town. Did I ever tell you folks about one time my brother and I drove uh, to a drive-in theater two towns over and we... Ooh, what's this? Secret text! We, uh... We're gonna go watch... I think it was Transformers. The first one, the Michael Bay one that everyone loves oh so much. But we got there late and we didn't get the instruction on how to tune into the audio. So it was uh, not great. So we left. On the way home, driving down the highway, there was this teeny little town off to my right. He's driving. I'm looking. This one little town had the thickest fog covering it that I've I've remember ever seeing. But what was really creepy, this town, this village had trees all around it, you know, surrounded right to the the town's edge. The fog stopped at the trees. It was just in the town. 
I thought, there is a vampire in that town at this moment. I know it. We kept going. I wasn't going to risk that. But it was so weird to see that kind of a weather contained in such a, you know, compact area. Eevee is a Pokemon with great potential. Try experimenting with many things, such as certain locations, times of day, and evolution stones. I think I was mentioning that previously in another episode about how to break the consistency, they just made it so you can use your Leaf Stone, you can use your Ice Stone to evolve into Leafeon Glaceon. Which again, I said breaks continuity because why could you not do a Leaf Stone back in Gen 1? To counter that though, I guess something my nephew and I had discussed is what makes a Pikachu evolve into a lowland Raichu in the Alola region, whereas every other region, it's evolved into the standard Raichu. So, it could be the atmosphere, there's something like, you know, molecules and particles, whatever, stuff in the air of the Alola region that alters the effectiveness of the Thunderstone. So, as much as I complain about them changing evolutionary methods in Gen 8, it could be argued that Galar just has a certain kind of atmospheric effect as well. So, much as I don't want to accept it, that is an explanation that I would buy. My husband can teach ultimate moves to certain Pokemon. The Blazing Fire type Pokemon, Charizard type Flosion, Blazigan, Infernape, Embor, basically, uh, Blast Burn, Hydro Cannon, and Frenzy Plant. Now, do we have any such Pokemon? Not with us. But someday, we could get certain attacks like that. I don't know if I'm a big fan of them, however. They are like Hyper Beam. You know, they're very powerful, but you do have to spend a turn recharging. And you can be sucker punched on that turn. I found out. I ain't a fond, I, I ain't a fond of that. Your quest for power has brought you here very well. Let me reward your passion with some absolutely astounding moves. They're the ultimate moves. Shall I teach them to your Pokemon? No. Hmm. Well, that is fine as well. This is if you have a change of heart. Calm down, sir. It's not that big a deal. I prefer Surf over Hydro Cannon. Technically, I'm smart in that sense. I speak to you. It doesn't matter how big our numbers might get. People and Pokemon will be fine in this world. We better be. Or else I want my money back. But, so technically, yeah. Surf has 90 power. Uh, Hydro Cannon has 150. Just for example. The best part of Pokemon battles is that there are... I already spoke to you. So, since you have to spend a turn recharging from Hydro Cannon, you put out 150 damage, then the next turn, no damage. If you use Surf two turns, the first turn you do uh, 90, the second turn you do 90 for a total of 180. So, although the individual attack doesn't pack as much of a punch, over time you're doing more damage with Surf than you are with hi uh, Hydro Cannon. Tactics. Thanks to the cold air that seeps out of the gym, no one in this town needs air conditioning. Wait, is... Oh. Okay. That might be an adequate explanation, then. If the snow extends just to the edge of the town. Maybe it is just being generated by Snowbell. I was wondering that, too, because we made it through Mamoswine Road, and I realized, well, there's an ice town. Why is that not connected to the icy region? Maybe the deep freeze just, uh... Sprung a leak here in this gym. Lysandre was his name, right? I wonder why he didn't dream bigger than destroying the world. Hmm. If he had said he wanted to save everyone in Kalos, surely people would have supported him. Eh, not if he decided to blow up uh, the whole bunch of peoples, though. What's new, little blue? If it ain't the future champ. Hate to disappoint, but the gym leader's actually out right now. He said he was off to the winding woods if you feel like searching. Do I really feel like searching? So it's Wolfric. Tough as an iceberg, hot as a furnace. Those two things are mutually exclusive, good sir. I think... Wait. Wait a minute. The clothing shop. Hello, Bomb Snow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whatever that's all about. Uh, we're not going to go here just yet. We're out of time for the episode. We're going to save it up here. Maybe I'll do a little bit of shopping next episode, but we're going to check out this winding or uh, whatever. He just said it. Winding woods? We're going to go into the forest. But until then we got to sign off for today. So if you enjoyed today's episode, folks, of course, as always, feel free to let me know by leaving the like button down below. Actually, don't leave it. Use it. Well, it may sound like I'm saying leave it alone. Click the like button down below. 
If you want to uh, follow any more episodes of Pokemon X, you can go back and check out the playlist that's linked in the description and get caught up on everything thus far. But for future episodes, you can always subscribe to our channel now and click that bell button so you can get notifications when new videos and such are coming your way here. And for a little bit of an extra bonus for me and you, if you would like to join our channel as a sponsor and start earning uh, members exclusive, sponsors exclusive perks, click join down below and see what perks are available and perhaps of interest to you on our two available tiers. That is about it for today. Thank you folks again for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I will catch you next time.